Peace be with you. I am Pastor Stephen Jurdy at Zion Lutheran Church, and this is Picture Time, when we look at beautiful works of art that illustrate for us the lesson of the Sunday School children this past Sunday. This past Sunday, the Sunday School has been was looking at Elijah, the prophet, and his contest with the prophets of Baal. This takes place in 1 Kings chapter 18, and the story goes like this. There were false prophets. Prophets, that is, there were men who were preaching something that wasn't true. There were some preachers who were lying by telling the people of Israel that there was a God named Baal that they should worship. Baal is not really a God because there's only one true God, and that is the God of Abraham, Jacob, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God who sent us Jesus Christ. But these bad men were preaching a false message that the people of Israel should worship a false god named Baal. So a good prophet, a prophet or preacher named Elijah, was telling the people of Israel to follow only the one true God and to trust in him for all of their help and all of their good things. Well, the king of Israel was a man named Ahab, and Ahab was married to a woman named Jezebel, and Jezebel and Ahab together kind of thought, that Baal was an okay god to worship, and they did not like the prophets of the true God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God who sent us Jesus Christ. And so, when Elijah came and told Ahab, you need to only worship the one true God, a contest was proposed. Elijah and all the false prophets of Baal went to a mountain called Mount Carmel, and on top of Mount Carmel, they both built altars. That is, they both built places to offer up a burnt offering. That's what they did back then. They would sacrifice an animal and burn it. And Elijah said, the true God will send fire down on my altar. He will not send fire to burn up the sacrifice offered by the prophets of Baal. Only the true altar to the true God will have fire upon it. So the people weren't going to set any fires. Only God was going to set that fire. Well, here's a picture of that event. And this is a picture painted by one of my favorite artists, a man named Lucas Cranach the Younger. And it was painted, I believe, in 1545. I think that was the date. And it shows... All the people gathered on the top of Mount Carmel. Here is King Ahab, looking a little confused, but he's in his royal red robes. And here is the prophet Elijah. And here is all the prophets of Baal. And here's the altar that they built with their offering or sacrifice on it. And here is the altar that Elijah built uh, with his offering and sacrifice on it. And look where God sent the fire, down to Elijah, to show that only the God of Israel is the true God and not this false God, the God of Baal. Now also notice a few things. First of all, look at how funny the prophets of Baal look. They're dancing around that altar. They're kicking up their legs. They're making a whole big scene and show trying to get their God to do something. But of course he doesn't because he's not real. And Elijah just stands there very still because he is confident. He trusts in his Lord, just as we trust in God. The other thing to notice is that Elijah, if you look at him, he's a very much older man, whereas the prophets of Baal are younger people. Notice that? Well, that reminds us of a point that Scripture or the Bible often makes for us, that we should listen to the elderly among us. We should listen to those who lived, lived a long time. They have wisdom. They have insight and knowledge to share with us that we who are younger don't have. And so these folks are painted as younger. This fellow is painted as older to show where wisdom really can be found. And that is in the worship of the true God who sent fire to consume the sacrifice of Elijah. But also notice how there's a pool of water around this altar. And here we have some jugs that were used to pour water over the altar. 
just to show how powerful God is, Elijah had his altar doused with water. He had this pool or moat of water formed all the way around it. And despite all of that water, his sacrifice was burned up, even though this sacrifice, which had no water and was perfectly dry, did not burn up at all, proving that this is a divine fire, a fire sent from heaven down onto that sacrifice that Elijah offered. And again, there's poor King Ahab looking confused because suddenly King Ahab is seeing with his own eyes that it's not okay to worship Baal. He should only be worshiping the true God of Israel. Well, that's, the, that's a good lesson for us. Uh, good for us to remember and to know that there are a lot of things that we can hear in this life and in this world, and some are true and some are false. And as Christians, we are called to live with the truth and to not live with what is false, to only believe in the God who is true and not all the other false gods who might be taught to us or might be presented to us. We trust in the Lord, the God of heaven and earth, who made everything out of nothing, who reached out to the people of Israel to make him his make them his chosen people, who sent prophets to them to speak the truth, and who in these final centuries of the and, and millennia of the world's life and history sent us Jesus Christ to die on the cross and to rise again. He is the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who with his Son and the Holy Spirit rules forever and ever. He is the God in whom we trust. And he is different from every other God that you might hear about, and we worship him alone. That's picture time for this week, and may God bless you until I see you again. Peace.